Business resilience is top of mind for most companies in South Africa. And of course, part of that is having an always on and accessible service. And the predominant one is really around access to data, securing that data to prevent unauthorized access to it. There's a lot of misunderstandings around how the laws should be applied, particularly around the Poppy Act and how data should be handled. But there isn't anything that really prevents data being stored in remote locations as long as you conform with those particular policies and guidelines. It is always brought up that data has to reside in South Africa and it doesn't. But we do have local data centers so you can get around and don't have to worry about those data sovereignty concerns. In order to address business resiliency and cyber security requirements, Wabi Cloud is a comprehensive list of security services that customers can make use of. We've invested heavily in R&D over the years and that's helped better develop those services. So while we have some basic capabilities around network access and identity and access management, we also have advanced services like next generation firewalls and AI driven data protection tools as well. The advanced data security services are really working on a continuous basis, looking at things from an audit point of view, look for unusual activity, SQL injection attacks that are sort of predominant malicious access point of view, but they also look at you know, mistakes that people can easily make. So in South Africa we have three local data centers or availability zones, all within the Johannesburg region. So that gives a tremendous amount of resiliency in the services across those three availability zones. Some of the native services are automatically dispersed across those availability zones and then customers can also choose to move their data between those availability zones for additional resiliency. Either by themselves or using our third party service like our disaster recovery service which keeps copies of your data in one of the other availability zones that you're not in. Our advanced technologies that we have, we have a lot of cloud native security mechanisms that you can make use of, purchase, etc. to help you secure the cloud and secure all your data within the cloud. And that is at a service level, so we have the technologies available, but we also have the frameworks around it to help you to do that. And it's not always about just purchasing a particular technology to better secure data and all of your workloads in cloud. It is also about working with frameworks and compliance standards. So while we're also certified with various security standards, if the customer has vulnerabilities on their end or is unsure how to navigate those vulnerabilities, we do have both technologies and processes to help you navigate that. We have services within Wabi Cloud that can automatically guide you around those compliance standards. Most of the data breaches happen because a bank, for instance, makes use of a third party data provider. They literally are giving them the data. They now have access to that data. And that's when the data breaches happen. It's generally not because somebody hasn't secured it. It's a handover and now somebody else has access to it. Suddenly, and that's when the breach happens. And that's different from what's happening with us. You're not giving us the data. You're storing it with us. You know, we are securing access and the underlying infrastructure for it, but then the customer themselves, they need to secure it in the same way they would as if it was on, on premise. A lot of data security incidents are down to misconfiguration and bad choices that people can make from a you know, simple administrative task. So the tools help prevent a lot of those basic calamities that can really result in huge data losses at the end of the day.